with your host. Right. Oh shit, what's going on here? There we go. What the hell? Right. Oh, oh, it's a low, oh, it's a low priority game. Woo! That's when you know it's a good one. Okay, wasting no more time. Let's get straight into this game. On the Radiant, we have Dazzle, Lion, Anti-Mage, Venomancer, and Dragon Knight. We'll go through their style item shortly, but to start, let's quickly go through the dire. On the dire, we see a Tinker going straight in with Boots of Speed and an Iron Branch. So he's not messing around. No regen needed when he goes to the lane. There's also a Visage, Witch Doctor, Tree Ant Protector, and a Murana who's currently disconnected. Courier bought for both teams, so that's a nice start. Animage has started with a full wand and a stout shield. Unconventional starting items, but maybe he's anticipating a lot of... Spell spam. Uh, well, it's definitely different. Dragonite has gone uh, boots and a clarity. Interesting strategy to do that and then take dragon's blood. So, uh, a little bit different, but again, boot. Well, Venomancer has gone a more conventional build boots and regen. Cla the clarity Dragonite bought was just popped on him. Um, not really utilizing the mana there. That may have been a misclick. Sometimes key binds can be accidentally pressed and it can go a little bit out the window. So, we won't judge too much on that. Tinker will be waiting for the bot rune. Visage is down here to. Have his back as well, and we see Tree and Protector heading up towards top room. Witch Doctor, going to be rotating up here as well. So it looks like the off lane will just be Visage So Well, Mirana would be there as well, but got to wait for it to load in. Garrick, I am doing very, very well, my friend. How about yourself? Both runes were taken from the Dying, as we all know. If you get both bounty runes, you have won the game. Carrier already going bot with Boots and a Sage's Mask on for... Who is... That's Dazzle, but Dazzle's... Dazzle put his items on the courier. Will they be delivered? Maybe a little bit of confusion there. He may have bought a courier, clicked on the courier, then took the items to that. May not realise he's got nothing on him. But as this happens, up top we see Witch Doctor just walks in, throws the cask out, and he's just being a cheeky chappy. Anyway, he doesn't have blink. He does have mana break. The game has frozen. That's because Murata was loading in. Okay, now Witch Doctor again, harassed again by the offlane Animage. This is, as I said, unconventional. Has got a full wand. Already two charges, so it's going to pay for itself. Lion throws the sound to Witch Doctor, and Lion was just pinging it out because he's saying, "Hey guys, there's potential for a kill here." Dragonite has DC'd as well. And which uh, Dazzle, sorry, hasn't got his items yet. So, checking the last hits. Venomancer currently leading the way. The, uh, Venomancer went middle. Not how I anticipate all these lanes going, but uh, Tinker taking the off lane, I think, is a bit different. Um, not bad, but just different. We've got Visage uh, here because obviously you can't start the ancient and stuff as so you would like in the days gone past. Uh, Animage up top gets hit by the cast. Leech team comes out as well. Nice done. Unfortunately, Witch Doctor was there. Did he have any one charge? He did have two one charges. So the one could have been a huge play. And down bot, Tazzle got killed by the Tinker Marana. Although Tinker went exceptionally low. So already the die getting two cheeky kills in. Go, go, Gadget. Go next. Ah. Uh. So, we'll see what's happening here. Visage taking the harass from the Venomancer. He's going to just be worn out trying to have lane dominance. Hopefully, Dragonite comes back shortly. March of Machine Spam coming out here. Has got 1 1 1 at the moment and will just be zoning him back. Able to last hit up. Um, Treant leading the last hits. Not really what I expected, but seeing as you got a Treant Witch Doctor in the safe lane, I, I guess, you know what, Treant, just farm it up. Get a quick axe. Get a ridiculously quick axe, and then the farm goes all over the place. Animage walks in, gets a couple of aura attacks off. I'm not in the way of the levels, am I, guys? Oh, shit, that's the wrong way. There we go, that's better. So, don't want to block those levels off. Um, Rana gets the rune, which was just a bounty, and then rotates back down. So, the Dazzle's got to be getting the XP advantage. Hasn't taken Shallow Grave, which I think um, may be a mistake up top. More harassment coming out to the Animage, and he's now seeing a whopping three stick charges. Down bot, more pings coming out for Dazzle. Here comes your Iron Marana, throws it out. Dazzle doesn't react. We've got Tinker Aura attacking him. Tinker not known for his massive Aura attacks, but it's still paying off. Dazzle can heal himself. He has no Shy Grave. He throws the heal out, getting Aura attacked again. Unfortunately, Tinker does not want to dive, and they'll leave it at that, which I think is a safe bet. What are you talking about, scams? Regeneration. Right. So, Animage coming back into the lane here with the Lion. They're going to be... Just trying to farm up. Although, Annie is only sitting at 5 assists in the moment. There is the stun onto Witch Doctor. That's going to be one slap. It turns around and just throws out the level 1 Maledict. 
and Dragonite is now recreated to the game, and Marana this time, well, it's an arrow which just kills the Dazzle outright. Trying to hold his ground, be safe, needs to work on dodging his arrows maybe a little bit, but Anime still got three tangos up here, he's going to be doing fine. Visage, pretty low, has to just go back from mid. So Venomanta obviously has the sort of sustained... With the Gale as well, you throw that out on him, it's just constant damage, which is very annoying to play against. Dragonite did uh, come back to the game, so he's now going to be the safe lane farmer. As I said, he has his boots, but um, it's going to help him dodge the arrows. Tranquil's now out onto Visage. Up top, Trien's pretty damn low. He does put the shield on himself, is stunned. Animage blinks him very far, but still he has the kill. Animage wants this to make a double, and Witch Doctor will be going down to this all attack. Maledict is a... It's not that impressive level one, I'm afraid, so he's... More than, uh, more than okay. Doesn't have to worry. Venomancer now has his bottle thrown out. Well, walked out to him in the mid lane. And he'll be sitting there. We've got Tinker sitting there on the side as well. Has got level 2 in his ta uh, laser. I need to say taser. And TP's up top. Rotations. Just comes out with a rocket. I mean, it's unexpected. He wants to laser him as well. He really wants to go for this. Witch Doctor could go for the cast. Lion walking away. And he may just sit here on the side. So if they found him. Nope, there's the laser onto Lion. Cast goes out. We're looking at it go. It bounces back. Maledix on him as well. There's going to be all attacks. And Lion is probably thinking, God damn, cast. And Animage is still sitting in the side. They knew he was about. Because obviously they're like, oh, we didn't see him. There they go. They find him. He blinks further into the tree line. But he's still not free. Nine seconds till he's out. Witch Doctor's just like, oh, where is he? Somewhere around here. Pings come out. Animage in the trees. He's just fucking cowering. Should be able to blink away now, though. And we'll just be escaping. Hopefully. The world is his oyster. It's just whether he wants to eat the oyster. Nope, he's, he's sitting there. He's waiting for... Dra okay, Dragonite's rotated. It is musical lanes. Walk straight out. Dragon Breath comes out. Level 1. Taking so much damage. He's like, wow, this tree punches hard. And he immediately dies. Here comes the cavalry, which immediately runs into the battlefield, shits itself, and dies. So, disappointing from Dragonite. I expected a bit more. Hey, he was... Sometimes you can be afraid a little bit of kilter if... Um, you come back to the game after being DC'd for so long, you kind of forget the flow of it. So I, I, I can see where uh, where stuff's gone wrong. The walking carrier comes out with an urn for Dazzle. Could be spotted here by Mirana. Mirana could just walk it down. Remember, she's got a leap as well. This is going to be a carry kill. They need to upgrade the carrier now. For the love of God, upgrade this pig. Will the ball be able to get away? Throwing the arrow at the ball. That's not how it works. Now it's unable to leap. Mirana actually hits Dragonite with it. What the shit is going on? He's now going for the Dragonite kill. He's like, okay, Dragonite hasn't realized he's getting hit. No, he does. Turns around. Dragon's Breath to Mirana. Mirana's running away. The carrier's now coming to him. Walking carrier. Aquila turns up. She now turns around. She's like, you fool. I've now got my Aquila. Goes to fight Dragonite. Dragonite's walking away under the tower. Mirana now uses the leap. And just walks back from each other. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this is... Okay, guys. We may have found my golden goose game. <laughs> uh We've got Visage with the birds going around through the woods. Actually, there's quite a lot of Radiant moving around to try and come up. He's trying to get out of it. Annie Mage is rotated from top lane. Doesn't have boots, but he doesn't need a Visage. Could get stunned up by Lion. Throws the stun out, and Visage will be going down. No matter for the new count. The bird stun does help him out a little bit. Unfortunately, he still will be going down. And that bird is doing 10 damage. Well, obviously, before reductions. This other bird, though, is refreshed. Could go in for more, but decides to just back him out. Doesn't want to throw him away. Oh, man, that was... <laughs> that's a highlight, is it? <laughs> I might use that in um, my cast astrophes if I don't make this a Tales from the Trench, because that was... <laughs> that is the greatest play I ever witnessed where nothing happened. It was it was a bit like that, wasn't it? It was very sideways. Anime transport boots, and we'll be waiting for them to come out to him. Visage's uh, farm is... Pretty respectable. 28 last hits. Obviously was mid lane, so you would expect them to be pretty high up here. But compared to the Venomancer, Venomancer's sin at 16. He has sent him back to the pool a couple of times, though, so maybe that's where the focus lies. The arrow could fly onto the Dragonite. Dragonite's just standing there in the lane. Tinker comes in with the lasers and the rockets. There's the stun. That arrow is very off the mark. Obviously, you anticipated Dragonite running away. Doesn't matter, they could just dive. 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 Dragonite again dying. He's now died twice. Which, you know, it's not not the end of the world, like, by far, so he doesn't have to worry about it. Uh, Kyra's walking again, Lion dies up top with the Animage. It's not so bad if just the Lion's dying, but both of them, both of them going down, they can't really afford to give that sort of thing away. Animage has died twice as well now. We, uh, I wonder if he will be going for a battle here, even though he's been taking the offlane and the farming. Hey, he's Malak. <sighs> it's 
Sorry. Still uh, trying to keep up with the chat. This game's been pretty good so far. So I've been maybe not seeing the chat as much as usual. Drazzle will be using those creeps. A nice little shield. Mirana walks out, gives the creeps a hug, and just throws that arrow straight away. Actually takes a load of damage. If Dazzle threw a heal out there, that could have been a bit juicy. Venomata with Didi goes out, grabs Bounty. Obviously, that fills up his bowl. The birds are still on him, but should be able to just get away. Pops a wall down, which is very nice, actually. It just defending away from those birds. Amory's still pushing up here top. Sitting at an appalling... Well, not appalling. <laughs> that makes it sound quite negative. Uh, sitting at a very poor seven last hits. But uh, obviously that's the case of the lane he's been given. He's getting uh, focused quite a lot in these exchanges. And unfortunately he's dying. 55% win rate doesn't mean guaranteed. Yeah, how's this happening? They got both bounties. Yeah, you think so. You think so. Up top, we see Animage going in for the kill. Onto the Witch Lord. Witch Lord then drops the ult. There's the tree shield. Well. Animage can't get it off. He had his armor, but he didn't use it. But then Lion's just like, you know what? Fuck it. Cleanup crew's arrived. Here's my ulti. Lion now hit with the overgrowth. We've got to see Tree and Protector get a couple of punches in as well. Fuck you, Lion. It's called out there. Leech Seed. Now onto Lion. He still wants to run down. Doesn't have all but Venom. But Lion turns around, gets the start off. And will be getting away. Trian's just like, eh, alright, whatever. You got away this time. Hasn't got five assists and he died once, so it's okay. And obviously, uh, Witch Doctor, a little bit salty that you just got fingered. Uh, just says, fuck you. Hello, Codlinks. I'm really thirsty for some reason. And the walking carrier will just be going back from top. Back to the base. Visit utilizing his birds to farm as he's uh, gone is quite... It's quite nice. And the heal just clearing out the wave with the Dragonite. Dragonite's now sitting at five last hits. But unfortunately does not have him. Venomancer. Just gonna be Bolin's uh, bounty rune in a second. The birds again scare out, unfortunately. Should have maybe put one bird either side and just deny both runes and just say fuck you, Venomancer. Animage can't get off. <laughs> Did I say that? Can't get it off. As in his, uh, oh, he, Gale comes out, just hits the tree ant, but unnecessary spell usage? Eh, it doesn't really matter. He's got his ball. He can top it up. Down bot. Animage now rotated. Uh, arrow will connect onto him. There's your, uh, I'm sorry, your rockets as well, but with a dazzle there, healing them, it doesn't lead to much. And Dragonite was keen to get that last hit on the catapult. Witch Doctor again running away. Lion after him as well. Hasn't got Tranquils, has gone for Arcanes, and he's just draining tree ant dry. Gale does hit onto him, and the stun as well, but they have no reveal. Witch Doctor drops the ulti now, just throws it out, no cast to set up, they need Lion to stop it, Lion does stop it, Venomance taking a lot of damage, and now Trient's just going to be punching him around. Witch Doctor throws out the cast, because they just need this for the extra punches, Venomance has a bottle charge, and he is okay, Trient Protector will be going down, turn into a double kill, big play there from the Veno. Very nicely handled, because the Witch Doctor did do a fair bit of damage to Veno, but Veno was able to hold his ground, obviously he's got treads as well. Had some ball charges, just being able to heal himself up as much as possible. So, Arrow connects onto Dazzle, but you don't want to go that deep. Obviously, if you had the rockets from Tinker, you've got potential there. Visage, this is one of those things where he's gone to micro those, and obviously doesn't control his main one. And hey, that's fine. Like, obviously, learning heroes like that, you've got a. Uh, I mean, Box Dragon with Visage is perfectly fine as well. Witch Doctor sitting on it. Yep, yeah, five denies on Witch Doctor. He's really leading the way. Venomancer will grab the DD and just be backing out there. So Mirana won't be getting the rune this time. There's a lot of group movements coming up for the Radiant. I feel like the Dyer aren't utilizing this group work so much. I mean, all of them are on the bottom half of the map. And that means that the Dyer should be getting a farm advantage now. We've got Tree farming away. And he is rushing the Agonims. Hasn't gone for a Midas. But this is going to be huge. Dazzle coming around the side. Could go for a sick weave. There's the weave. Hits on two. And that's the two he wants as well. Lion throws out the stun. But there's now going to be the arrow and the cast bands between them as well. Animage blinks in. But Witch Lord Zoe. This fight has gone disastrous for the Radiant. That Witch Lord is now going to be stunned up. We see Tinker going down. And then they've turned it. Witch Lord comes in with Venomancer. They are able to get it. That was a nice cast. But... Hey, they turn it very nice. So I said about the Witch Doctor, and he immediately got cancelled after that moment. Dragonite walking in. I thought Dragonite was going to be running away there. So Dragonite able to make the big plays. Coming in, using that trap. Actually, he's maxed the Dragon Tail as well. I thought Witch Doctor was stunned for a long time. Um, hasn't. I thought he was going to be maxed this heal, but he's going to max the Maldedic next. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> I was confused with how long that guy was stunned. I mean, it's only extra 0.5 of a second, but I was like, huh, that seems longer than usual, because obviously you're just used to seeing the level 1, and there's now fortification on this bot tower. Right. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Ah. So, up top, two piece. Well, actually, I talk about how good that fight was for the Radiant, but they did take their whole team down there, and you got Trient farming. Trient, when he gets this early Agonims, all the gold belongs to him. He is just, he's the tax collector. He sits there in his base. He's the fat cat. And he sits there, and he gets all the gold he wants. As this happens now, bot Dragonite in troll. Will pop his ollie in. Anti Mage, the surprise battle Anti Mage comes out of the tree line and just makes everyone shit themselves. Tinker, it's going to get hit up. Our line will get arrowed, but Tinker already going down. Mirana really wants to finish off this line. There's the Witch Dodd Roy as well. Will bounce towards them, and this is a huge cask. Dragonite goes down. Anti Mage escapes on 20 odd HP, and there's no. Oh, there was another arrow in three seconds, so Mirana could have followed, fished for the arrow, and believed in herself. Dragon Knight's the standard hero, you'd argue. Standard hero for what? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, I wish I picked up TI tickets. Well, I say that. I'm not sure if I would have been able to afford to go anyway. If, obviously, you know, unlimited money, it would be lovely. I could still buy off some ticket scalper for ridiculous markup. Just get fucked to the ass. And there is the creeps. Taking the arrow again. Rana now ble uh, leaps in. Now gets stunned by the Dragonite. Animage has his void if he wants. But obviously, this Mara's not going to do that much. Venomancer is hit with the cast because he has all the illusions himself. And Venomancer can just turn for the Mirana. There is the Poison Touch. Which just guarantees a kill. Mana Void was thrown out as well. But it's a low cooldown. They can, they can do that. Don't try to tell us that nature's bad. You can see the hero level. Yeah, I changed it just for you, Xene, man. Just for you. I have... The production value on this stream has gone up 800%. Absolutely 800%. Visage, getting his mana drained. Very, um, annoying, but not the end of the world. And this is going to be a medallion. And he's now building his O Club as well. Tinker will kill the Dragonite as this happens. And they are just running these people down here. Bad of again. Manta. I'm assuming he's not going treads. Tink is going first item Manta, so that's definitely not going to be treads. Uh, and Venomans. Well, I mean, you shouldn't get treads. Like, obviously, that's what I'm saying. Boots travel is the, the, the Tinker boots. But, yeah. Wait for him to get desperate and drop the price. Yeah, but obviously, I would have to make a Rage Reds Lion. Throws out the manager as well. Hex is up Visage. There's not going to be a cast thrown to the creeps. He's just believing in the fucking cask glory. Unfortunately, the casks are not on his side. So, Arrow connects on the Venomancer, and Venomancer will now go down. Again, Mirana's just been landing these arrows. I've got to say, she has got a fairly good hit rate. And Dragonite walks in now, which on the throws the Oi, and again, more damage from the Visage. He just used that Soul Assumption for massive use, and he's getting a lot of kills in these fights, thanks to Soul Assumption. But, as, as we saw, Lion walks in with the finger, and just like, zip zap, you're dead. Gets an easy kill, and he's happy with that. You can't go wrong. Animage might blink forward. Could go for this fight. Visage going to be running away. Didn't get hit by the weave, but an arrow of arrow throws back. Hits on the Dazzle. Are you kidding me? This Dazzle is not going to go down. Animage, you brave soul. Blinks in. Has got a mana void. Throws it out. Kills at least one person. Can't blink away for seven seconds because he has a max blink. Taking a lot of damage, but he's uphill. He shouldn't have to fear now. Don't fear the Reaper, Animage. Head on home. Oh, wow, you got two tickets in the first wave and your friend lives in Seattle. Oh, wow, that is... That is big. Oh, no, 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 um, don't get me wrong. People can buy up to five tickets and stuff like that. That's, that's... It's people who buy it with the intent of... Like, for example, I could buy it then realize I can't, can't go because whatever and then resell the ticket. But it's the people who buy it just mark it up by, like, you know, whatever and sell. There's nothing wrong with buying multiple tickets. You cynical? Ah, fair enough, Mace. That's disappointing. And Venomancer with the Shadowblade will be sneaking away. He did go first time with Shadowblade, which could be. A did Dragonite just stun a creep? He did, didn't he? That's only 100 damage, so maybe a misclick. Visage is just refreshing the birds. And they might try and turn this fight arrow. This time connects onto no one. And Witch Doctor throws the cask out, but Dazzle is kind of by himself here. So. Early Grave comes up from there. <clears throat> Dragon's Breath does connect onto two, but it's low level. Dragonite goes down to just the crossfire. We've got March, we've got lasers, we've got the Witch Dodds Roma, and the birds, the familiars, just on the Plague Wars, trying to clear those out. Tinker with the 
Oh, okay, he's okay. With the weave, obviously, he has a lot of minus armor. Venomata will be hit, but <laughs> fucking hell, this finger. Lion just keeps getting this witch to every turn. Animage picks in and just finishes off the Tinker as well. This is that standard thing we always notice. Marana will die to the poison. Oh, no, that's poison Nova. I didn't actually get hit by the poison touch from Venomata's all attacks. Animage trying to take down the birds. Will be able to get free gold. The returns gets the mana void on the Visage. Visage goes down as well, and there's going to be extra gold. Will Animage go for it? No, his blink is now on cooldown. So this is going to happen. And oh, what have we seen? The first trees are turned. And the worm will be turning to Trian is going to be setting up these jungle camps and with it his gold will be happening. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Tasty turnaround. Dyer's Let's actually check the graphs. This has been a lot of fight though. We are now sitting at 2,000 towards the Dyer, which is really that nothing at the stage. And Radiant's about 1,000 XP. So, something we always say in these games, or just Dyer's lower tiers of Dota, a couple of people Dyer's come middle. Tower. And then a couple of people come middle from the enemy team to like try and hold them. And then they're like, guys, some tactical genius will go, guys, if we bring another person in, we'll win. Because we'll be 3v2. And then the other team, like, we have to bring we have to bring another person in. And then another one. And then we'll be stronger than them. Then it's a 4v2. Uh, 4v3, sorry. Fuck it out. I can't even mass. Arrow throws out onto Dragonite. Hits him. Unfortunately, Starfall won't be on him. So Dragonite's going to be walking away. But yeah, and then eventually it turns into a 5v5. And both top and bottom will be forgotten about. And it's all about the mid lane. It's the lane to be in. It's the party lane. Aim me up. You're not late, mate. You're never late. Right. Enjoy your food, trainers. Let's pour some more. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. I did just eat before this stream. So I'll try not to be obscene. Dragonite? Very keen. Very keen, Dragonite. There. I was just watching him and I was just like, huh. I thought he was like turning around. Maybe lagged? I don't know. There's a lot of options. It could be. Trient still running at them. We could see another cast from Witch Lord. Witch Lord throws the cast out and he hits the Venomancer, which isn't really the big targets. Now Animage blinks in onto Murano. Murano's got no mana. Dazzle walks away the Shadow Grave on him, but Visage has turned onto him. There's your mana void and Animage will be running as this happens over here. Witch Lord's arm. Oh, Gets a double, although he's in a fair bit of damage from Venomance. So Animage now running away. Dazzle throwing out the air charges, and Animage is going to be just fine. Witch Doctor with the heal as well as Livid Armor. He is happy to stay alive. Tinker just backs out with no mana to play it safe. Animage getting killed extremely slowly. The medallion comes out, but he really needs to refresh his birds. He wants to go for this. Dazzle fine up against the uh, Visage now, but he's got uh, the armor from Weave, so he shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Hey Skydive. Bottom tower is under attack. How do you do with the mid lane stare down in pubs? Go to another lane. Take a tower. Farm up. <laughs> if if they're wasting time, you can do anything. Key arena is a very Dyer's exciting. Top tower is under attack. You say it's not very exciting during TI. I Dyer's I would beg to differ. Fallen. It seems ridiculously fun at TI. Like ridiculously fun. Hey Oscars. Yeah, like man. If I could. I mean I, I guess I could. I don't know. I haven't really looked into the money, how much it would cost, hotels, flights, etc. I mean, it would be so cool though. A tree ant walking around the woods now, walks into Animage, just puts his stealth on and will be waiting. Is there any reveal purchased on the Radiant that isn't? And the birds will scout out the Animage, just making sure they keep away. There could be a nice bird stun here, but Visage has walked into the enemy team. Witchlord throws out the Ombers. Where's a nice cask again? It's Dragonite Lion getting hit by the cask. And Witchlord has done so much work this fight. Will be hit by a Poison Over and a Gale as well. So he will be dying slowly. And so will Mirana. So Venomancer with the Shadow Brain able to sneak in and do some venomy goodness. Animation now ready to turn onto the Treant. Treant has got Minus Armor thanks to Weave. And there's going to be a Blink forward. They will try and keep him in place. There could be a Bird Star if they want to. He gets the Void off and that's a double. If he threw out the bird stone they would have had enough time to kill him that was just complacent lets it go through and it's a little bit disappointing tinker now turns up to the fight lasers rockets fires out everything is still going for a yasha as his first item not before but to travel as well my ad and now tinker is just like oh i should probably be careful Venomancer could have shadow braided back in and taken this kill remember but anyway he comes back the battle mage is really working his farm is Pretty damn poor with 13 last hits. The lowest last hits in the game, may I remind you. But he's got 8 kills, 3 deaths, 6 assists. It adds up. Uh, right. Who am I helping? Merger? How have I helped you, mate? 
yeah, Venomance has done a lot of work. Done a lot of work. Occasional bassist, I am doing well, my friend. Which one? Oh, he went the cask again! Are you kidding me, big brother? Are you kidding me? He already got his agonyms. Bear in mind how early this is in the game. We're 23 minutes into the game. Obviously, okay. Again, hasn't found that much, but we're 24 last hits. 20, uh, 23 minutes in with 14 kills and 6 assists. Okay, just got a double then. But he is balling out. Balling out of control. And this, oh, he's just going to be more and more huge. Cask flies out. The arrow hits onto him, but Anime just here to try and hold the line. The Maledict will miss. Venomance is still getting focused by Marana and co. Will she want to go run him down? She's already used her leap, and there's Soul Assumption to finish off the kill. Or is it just still running in for it? it? Should probably play it a little bit more safe. And that's going to be the match they are going to focus on this tower. Yes, Lord Docs are this, well, I think this is. I think this is the rebirth. Like a phoenix, it will be reborn. Do I ever commentate on live games from the watch section? No. A couple of times we've commentated on live games from friends who's playing. Don't worry, there'll be highlights. There'll be highlights. So Basis may have missed the biggest play, but there'll be highlights of it. It was ginormous. Animage trying to focus on Visage. He is going like against everything. The birds are doing so much damage to him. We'll back out and the uh, arrow, I believe, was just hit by nothing. I, I don't know. I thought I saw an arrow there. Maybe I was wrong. Animage blinks out, goes in onto him. There's your sole assumption that, oh, he will connect. The birds are still in him as well as the Marana. They're like, bring down the Animage. He can't go down, but no, he stays alive. As this happens, a line again throws out the finger, but Tinker March will get it. So Tinker will be able to finish off the Animage, who was exceptionally low when he ran away. Again, another arrow thrown out. This one wasn't hit by anyone. And Dragonite's trying to find that Tinker. But there's Moonlight Shadow just saying... Our cloak of invisibility will take us away. Does someone want to summarize the play earlier? It was it was a it was a complicated play. Uh, checking at the vision so far, the radiant. Obviously, actually do have some wards up, can I say? And this is uh this is war placement switch. You know, like there's a wards on the map. I'm actually surprised at this. The dire can see not as deep. Well, obviously they've got this ward here, so they do have a lane ward at every uh every meeting of the turn. Uh, but they've obviously got quite a few trees. And this is going to build up as time goes on. Radiant don't really have much to deal with the tree clearance yet. No Quelling Blades bought. Anime just still building towards this battlefield. He did get the Yasha first. And he's been tearing up to fight. So I guess this has all been working out. Yeah. I look forward to the highlights. Yes, there will be highlights. 25 minutes, 48 seconds into the game. I always feel bit, uh, weird saying the time to the seconds. Because by the time I said it, the clock's changed. Odd. I shouldn't say it, that's why. And Rana up top just found the way. Absolute gold. I'm not sure about that. Apologies if I have any sniffles. And Dragonite with Soul Assumption. We've got uh, Agonim's visage just with the birds trying to just run him down. Lion's there is now going to get focused up instead. There's the cast to keep him in place for a second, but Lion's just taking so much damage in the crossfire. And he will go down. Gale hits onto two, I believe it was that three. No, hits onto three with the Marana as well. This is nice. The birds all have no damage on them, but it's just constantly uh, chipping away, chirping away. Arrow will hit onto Venomance as well as this cask. Again, it's just keeping this pressure on. Dazzle tries to run away. Actually, he should get away here. Venomance with the Shadow Ray is able to back it out. Marana. Focused up by the Animage. There's another Soul Assumption onto him, but they will try and just take him down. The Animage is going to be running. He can't blink in one second, but there's the Cask. Keeps him in place, and he goes down. Those are the refreshed birds. Now Dragonite's like, I am here, but I'm now dead. Never mind. So, the Radiant crumble under the might, and Venomancer at least finishes off the Tinker. The Tinker, who committed for this, dived heavy. And yeah, Tinker has gone first item mana and still no boots travel up to him. 27 minutes of the game really needs to think about buying those boots travel and not worrying about carrying manta recipes. But uh, we'll check the net worth. As you can see, the net worth at the moment. But about to see net, they're followed by Visage and Witch Doctor. These Tensions Heroes on the Dire have done a lot. We're seeing Ag. It's the Agonims boys on the Dire team. The Agonims is back in town. We've got Visage, Trien, and Witch Doctor all with big ags. And these are these are actually really value, especially as how early they got them. Yeah, Grave's been used very early in the times it has been used. Very early. Pings are in the mid lane. They're like saying, you know, guys, there could be kill potential. Have a look at the graphs again. It's been a roller coaster ride so far. Roller coaster all over the place. So, Lion, in the mid lane, hasn't gone for a blink, did go for a mech. I guess he's helping out his team, but I'm I'm a big fan of getting a, a blink. Just initiate on those turkeys. The 
Rana will pick up the bounty. I will continue to run towards the mid lane. Arrow comes out. This is a fish arrow. Doesn't probably expect to hit anyone. And unfortunately, it will miss. But as I said, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Trian's farm is going to be in the lead now because he can just ulti and keep clearing all these jungle camps. He doesn't have to worry about it. And there's now an Agonyms on Venomancer. So he's got his Shadow Blade Agonyms. It's level 16 as well. This support stuff. Our oh, Ani Mage is deep within enemy lines. We shouldn't have to fear too much as he can just blink away. Obviously, the cask is nice, but only if there's another target as well. Birds will be set onto him just because why the hell not? And there's the ultimate used from him. Just going to be fine with the words. As well as also catching people like the lion. Lion's going to be hit by rockets. Unfortunately, he isn't in range with the laser. But look at that value speed from Yasha. But now Tinker has walked into the enemy lion's lion. For his other stun does get hit by the laser. But he's already been healed by Dazzle. There's the finger. Tinker, that is uh, open up your wheel. Go to Whoops and let the enemy te uh, let your team know that you've made a mistake. Hey, honey badger. I haven't seen you in a while, mate. And the birds will be getting refreshed slowly. Up top, you see Venomancer send his illusions just towards the tower. But Trien is biding his time. Okay, I was thrown out on some Rana. Miranda's just trying to run on home. Venomancer could Shadow Blade after if you really want to, but there it should be like Shadow. And as I said, no reveal picked up on the Radiant. There is a armlet now up on Sir Dragon Knight. Phase armlet? Different. Definitely different. In the mid lane, Visage was in a bit of trouble. A bit of a sticky situation. Manavoid's already been thrown out from Annie Mage. And Visage is just trying to try and run away. Nice stun will catch him, but oh no, Visage! Visage, you're not controlling your hero, you're controlling your birds! And he now gonna get stunned up and will unfortunately die. That can happen. It happens. Sometimes you'll you get caught up in the moment, the heat of the moment, and you know, thoughts can go out the window. There's no scientists on the radiant, true. Yeah, mech on lion, sir. It's a bit different. Tinker, now getting focused up by the Venom so he's got no way to get out of it. Obviously, if Venom's been traveling, he could have just re armed it. Oh, nice work from the tree. I probably was just farming up, Radiant's and Venom just shadow bades away. He's just like, I'll get you next time if it wasn't for this meddling tree. And they will just run their separate ways. Overgrowth. Just keeping him in the, in the farm game. 124 last hits. Dyer's courier is really going to be flying out this far. I mean, it's just like, oh, cool, there's a courier. Could blink to it, but, oh, no, blinks into the tree line. Has got blink in three seconds, and that courier only went to, like, 10 HP or so. So, unfortunately, Animage did one shot, and the Dazzle... Dyer's yeah, they won't be doing this. Animage now has his battle here. Oh, which not to froze out the old onto Venomancer, but Venomancer has a Shadow Blade, please buy some reveal. Animage goes in for this though, has got Mana Void, can just blow up the Witch Doctor, but will just hold his ground and keeps his Mana Void up. Mana Dick was used, unfortunately it was too, uh, well, no damage comes out with it. Tinker, able to stand his ground here, will throw a march down, could laser the t uh, Animage and then take a fight out of this. Tinker is in panic in though, Arrow does hit onto Animage, if the Tinker comes back in with the laser, this could maybe be a kill. And here it goes, there's the laser, Animage is probably thinking, fuck, that bird rotation was huge. Massive three-man overgrowth here, he'll go on to try and sustain them, he's got armor as well, so he's going to be toggling the birds. Throwing the stuns out. Is he going to then get a second stun off? Dazzle does pop Shadow Grave. No TP. And obviously you can't TP from the threat of the stomp. So they are just going to run on home. Antry is going to be walking down this way. The stomp does connect onto two of them. This could be a leech seed. This could be some punch. And remember, Dragonite's actually pretty damn squishy. A will armor toggle. And he has got the birds on him as well. This is not nice for him. Dazzle goes down. No Shadow Grave. And now the arrow hits. Amaraj just like, oh cool. It's about you. Uh, regen room. Sorry, why do you guys keep saying he's going mana? We know he's going mana. He's got... Although he's got better strength now. He's got uh, Yasha and um, uh, mana style. Yeah, this anime mage has not been... If you look at the last hits, he's still second from bottom on the last hit. See you later, DJ Bob. A Radiance Trient? You want to see him go Sarge and Yasha on the, uh, on the Tinker? Is that it? Is that why you guys are talking about mana so much? You're just like, Sarge and Yasha. He has, he's had the random recipe for so long, though. Unless this is just a joke recipe to fool the enemies. And the lion with the birds and the witch doctor ultimate does so much work. Again, another Marana arrow. Finds the target. And Animage is now probably feeling the pressure. Still doesn't have his manta. 
but uh, it's around the corner for him. But yeah, as I said, take a look at these last hit numbers. That is an, that is an idea. Bird stomps will just be flying out. And again, an overgrowth will be utilized. Arrow flies out, hits onto Dazzle. And they are going to be standing their ground. So they're staying together as a unit. They're very uh, keen. Gonna see a Shiva's being built to the next time. Visage, Tinker just throwing out the rockets, because why the fuck not? As I said, it's Dark very weird. Not seeing Boots travel on the Tinker. Very odd. He's been walking around the map. At least he's got the Yasha for that value move. Running fast. And Trient building towards a refresher. Cast comes out onto Animage. Animage now hit by the Mallard as well. Animage is just going to be throwing all attacks out towards the Witchstone. The arrow connects onto Dazzle with the bird's help. He should be getting a Dazzle kill. And Witchstone is thinking, damn, I was trying to chase this guy. I've made a mistake. Turns the heal on staying alive a little bit longer. Animage has got Maledict on him. Unfortunately, not able to fade in time. He gets killed. So, birds fine after Iron Rage, Iron Rage, just see you later, nerds, blinks away from the Soul Assumption Man, and we'll keep on running home. Dragonite flying around as a dragon. We'll just be seeing what he can find, and he finds birds as well as Mirana. There is now trouble. Dragonite toggles the armor and is still okay, but Lion's thrown out his stun, thrown out his hex already, and Visage is really tanky. Lion Finger comes out, and he should be getting this. There's the Soul Assumption. Now he turns, but Iron Rage sunders this cabal. Will just kill visage out right which is fair enough an overgrowth again from the tree man Mirana stops to type very happy she got a kill unfortunately we'll die for the birds we'll ensure they get another kill though in the form of the lions and venomancer is pretty tanky I'm okay with a death Mirana's like yeah I'm fine to die I got a kill mm. yeah take a look at what the dyer can see now they can see a lot this is just the dyer's vision on the map they have got eyes in the skies. They can see everything. Dyer, in comparison, can see... Uh, Radiant, in comparison, either, can see fuck all. You can't rearm uh, Necrobots. It will respawn the, uh, what should we call it? The Necro Creep, won't it? Hanyage walks up and whispers in the visages here. No fun. Very true. Wait, Shotter. Throws another cast count. And just... No reveal has been bought all game apart from the one which Witchdot has got on him. So he should be able to go for a fight here. And Witchdot could just turn around and drops the Oi. Venomance is thinking, ah, maybe I've made a mistake. We'll do a last second Nova just because he can. But Witchdot's like, whatever, I'm going to talk about him and go home now. He's just had a free kill delivered to his door. This is a Venomancer who was uh, pretty high XP wise. Witchdot keeps the heal on himself. And obviously the Nova can't deal fatal damage. So although he had this, uh, the, the Gale as well as the Nova. The heal's enough to keep him alive. Again, Trian throws out another roll. And he's just firing up every jungle camp. He's making sure he's staying well ahead of the last hits. 198. Nearly got 200 last hits. 36 minutes in. I mean, he just hit at 29. So, he is farming very, very well. Very efficiently. <clears throat> so, Tinker has purged his Manta. Please, Tinker, for the love that all... Well, for the love of everything that's holy in the world. You bought your Manta. Let's get some boots to travel. Let's get the old classic in. Animage wants to get the invis. Unfortunately, Mirana's just like, nah, it's mine. Now, Animage is still running back. 300, well, 200 gold off his uh, Manta. He's just going to be trying to farm this as his focus. Dragonite walking around in the jungle camps. The birds are going to scout him. We've watched Doctor here as well. They do have the armor up in five seconds, but they're just happy to see him run away, I think. I have age. Again, walks into the enemies, and he doesn't have to worry about this. You had an AD game where you got Rearm and Shadow Grave. Still lost. How? How did people die? Animage! Animage, you can't find the Birdman! Holy shit, because it's 70 HP and there's the arrow! Marana! You have been so on point in this game, although you can argue that Animage kind of run in the same line. And wow! Oh, that's an instant replay moment. Cut to the scene. Wow! And then back. And now we see Marana. Intro, there's gonna be the rockets. Where's the laser? There is a lot of trouble for these people. The cast gonna hit him. Witch Doctor drops the maledict on top of the visage. May die, but with the bird still here, he's here in spirit. Dragonite goes down. Venomancer tries to hold his ground, but there's no Nova. And Tinker, look at this man to usage. These are illusions really scaring the enemies off. It's like there's three of him. Do you know how insane that is? Oh. So yeah, I said about Annie Mage not being able to stand his ground against the uh, Visage. Really needs to be careful. 
Venomancer will be hit with the lasers and the rockets. The birds are on him as well, but he's still got his... Oh, I was going to say, yeah, there was dust on Witch Doctor still. Yeah, still has his Shadow Blade, so he's able to back out. Come to... <laughs> you know what? El... El Polo Blanco? I might do that in the Tales of the Trench video. I cut to... I just use my same WoW clip. I cut to Marana throwing the arrow at the creep, to Marana throwing that arrow and getting that kill. That might that might be good. That might be good, man. Hey, Astro Cactus. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I might make the video after this, you know. I'm really excited to make it. I haven't made a Tales of the Trenches in so fucking long. I need a good intro. I need a really fucking solid intro. Start thinking about script ideas, guys. I haven't done one in a long time. I need a voice as well. Uh, who, who have I done? Who have I used as a voice? Shadow wave. Yeah, right. Let me pour myself some more water. Yeah, I haven't got... Sp I'm, I'm not... El Polo Blanc. Oh, no. Why the fuck is tree hiding in his trees? He's being... He's just being cheeky. Look. Ooh. Uh, no reveal on the Radiance. So, again, a lot of people hit by the Overgrowth. They're just like, alright, guys. Let's hold up. Wish not to throw the armor onto Venomancer, but then use his dust after. There's the cask as well. Has got Malik. Okay, he's going to town to it. Fucking ding ding, motherfuckers. He's got a haste rune, so he will be running away. I wanted him to commit for this fight. Disappointed to see him run. Uh, to pussy out, really. But hey, it's fine. Visage will be trying to kill the Dragonite. Dragonite went Mask of Madness Armlet. So, I'm not going to lie. He's flapping those wings like he means business. Lion then throws out the stun, which connects onto Visage. Where's the creep wave he's brought with him? The Familiars are still after it. Dragonite pretty low. There's now going to be a Moonlight Shadow. And Dazzle is going to be walking into them. Mirana's here. The Gale was thrown out. I think in the Familiars. So... <clears throat> Again, there's, there's going to be an arrow. Hits the Dazzle. Dazzle's going to be playing a little bit safe. Not so and fast. graves himself. Whatever. Mirana has got leap available. Just needs to stay alive there. The Hex is there. There's going to be the leap and she's going to be running. But there's the Mask of Madness Dragon Knight. You cannot escape this man unless he decides to stand still. Dragon Knight still going after him. There's going to be the Dragon's Tail. The Gale is there and Mirana will die. But Visage on the backlines with his familiars. Could be looking to make a play. But no. One stomp. It could be more stomps. There's the Overgrowth. Dazzle's probably thinking, Jesus Christ, I need to use that... <gasps> There's going to be a kill! The stomps alone. There's your second overgrowth with the tree. And there's now going to be just blast coming out. Soul so Oh no, Annie Mage. Oh, you're caught in the trees. He uses his mana to get out of the trees. That's a nice usage. But there's the birds as well. Annie Mage goes down. One bad blink. Vintage is like, hey, wait a minute. There's a guy in those trees. And then just pummels him to death with his birds. Spitting down from on high. Wow, you're, you're kicking off at my pr pronunciation. I can't even Radiance pronounce English words, so. Are fortified. Yeah, you can apply Voice of Neighbor twice with Refresher. It refreshes the duration, I believe. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I believe it just refreshed the duration. Ghost Scepter now being picked up for Tree of Protector. And again, can I just point out Tree of Protector's farm? 282 last hits, 41 minutes in. Animage is at 39. And. It looks like high ground is starting to be threatened by the Dire. There's now a mech purchased from Visage. Bit of a late mech, seeing as how farmed he was. He could have gone back. Thank you very much, Everton the Imprints. The Imprints, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, man. Cheers for following. And if you're just... If you're just... Thank you very much for following... Tri tri oh, fuck it. Triathun? Tri Triathun? I don't know. But down bot, which one with the armor goes on the Venomance as well as the Dragonite. Dragonite gets to run away, but there's the Solar Assumption again. Okay, BKB was used, but this is very good. He wants to use the BKB. It's only on eight seconds, and they are going to be threatening towers. And this is what it comes down to at the end of the day. There is trouble as the birds go down. Dazzle is a very nice hero to deal with these. Shadow Wave, obviously it's all physical. Arrow flies out, does it connect onto the Dazzle? Would it connect onto anyone else? No, it won't. The arrows have been good, unfortunately not that good. You can't work miracles all the time. Yules comes up onto one of the mana illusions, because fuck it, why not? Lion wants to get that blink start off, but there's your Moonlight Shadow. They could be taking this fight. Visage, Soul Assumption onto Animage. There is a Malik there as well. It does blink back. Could it be playing it safe? And there is now Lasers, as well as another Soul Assumption onto Venomancer. There's a Grave, this time used a more appropriate time. However, he wasn't in for a danger of dying. Anyway, Birds onto Dazzle. Dazzle is now going to get stunned out. Doesn't have his Shadow Grave available, but now the extra uh, familiar damage is gone. So, they will just try and siege this tower, and hey! Tinker again, use it mana, fuck it. Use these illusions. I guess it kind of work, like, confuse the lion, maybe, if you do some, like, 
you know, like ball in a cup, and they're like, check, line up, line up, see which one is the uh, the ball in the cup, and then he shifts them around, and he's moving them out, and he's just like, that can kind of be a play, but anime blinks in, pops his mana, gonna be trying to fight these people, Visage in trouble, gonna be running away, doesn't have those uh, familiar damage he needs to send them back, anime blinks out though, just playing it safe, uh, Visage, they're gonna be hexed as well, trying to run away, Wish does over, oh my god, it's a disaster, Radiant, what are you doing, triple kill, ultra kill, only person who doesn't die is Venomancer, because he's hidden in stealth, Oh wow, Witch Doctor, I said he's getting kills. No, Venomancer's like, you've called me out. Here I am. I've made a mistake. My bad. So, Witch Doctor's tactical call out there forced Venomancer to show himself. He did. He couldn't be seen as a uh, as a coward, so he dies with the rest of his team. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. You hate being halfway. Wait, where the fuck's my phone, guys? That's in my pocket. Let's put that phone charging. And they're now pushing a rat. This is with five of the Radiant dead. They're going to be getting at least one rat here. Potentially two if they go for the... Well, it depends what happens when the animator comes up if he makes a mistake. <coughs> he has got his mana now, as we saw. But uh, some of the fight decisions are being a little bit all over the place. Trian obviously able to farm up near enough every bit of gold on the map. He is the vacuum cleaner of farm. People talk about farm vacuums. This guy is the Henry Hoover. Just able to clean anything he wants. And he's now getting more stuff. He's probably going to get like AC Mjolnir. He don't give a shit. Folks in the tier 4s, I think it's a bit of a waste. They should maybe be doing some folks on the tier 3 mid. But uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Raiding carry will be fine. I'll try to do some sneaky peeky pickups. The death one was nice. Ali H wants to go for more. Witch Doctor pops PKB again. Froze is over. Around he's going to stand his ground. And it's going to be killing at least Lion here. And the Dazzle. No shallow grave. And Witch Doctor is in stealth. Although he will show himself with that hill. Ali is like, okay, I'll go for this guy. Has got uh, Mana Void out. Froze it. Kills the Witch Doctor. Is just going to back out and be like, yeah, okay. Throw him a cooldown out. Get a kill. <laughs> They're not a lot of damage from Dragonite. But at least Ali comes back to help his buddy out. Dragonite. Armlet Mask of Madness. Just. Ugh. It's like he's like slapping him very very gently. It's like the wind. Oh Boots, I'm so sorry man. You didn't get TI tickets. I didn't get TI tickets either, but then again I didn't try so it's probably why I didn't get them. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear that man. I'm sorry to anyone who didn't get it who wanted him. I'm afraid you'll have to try and see if you can go through alternative. But Visage, pretty down tanking the birds are oh, down. Well, down, we're going to be respawned. There's now an overgrowth which will be used. They can focus on Dragonite. Visage returns to try and get a kill. Unfortunately, Animage turns up, but Dragonite still dies. So I guess it bounces out, and one bird is just left. So Trian tries to help his buddies out. Using those double overgrowths, it's a it's a lot of damage. Uh, uh, Venomancer can walk in towards him. He has got the Mjolnir out onto Trian now. And he's now going for a Bish. Uh, bish he's going for a Bisha. I meant to say Basha. Uh, probably into an abyssal, and that'll have the lockdown he needs to just do massive pumps at uh, pumps punches. This is around about one thousand five hundred MMR. Round about. So, checking out image again. He is going for a butterfly. He has turned up to a lot of fights in his defense, but the, bear in mind, right? If you just joined us into the game, animage was originally the off lane with a uh, lion. Yeah, with Lion, and Dazzle was the safe lane farm, as Dragonite wasn't there for the start of the game. It's a 1.5k low priority Dota 2 game. 1.5k MMR. Well, obviously, I, I should be thinking, what the fuck's 1.5k? 1.5k good points. Venomancer going to be picking up that regen, popping in the ball, and now they're thinking about... Let's just check Roche. Overgrowth again catches onto all of the... Well, all three here. And Dazzle's just like, ah, look at you idiots being caught out. I'll heal you up. Because I'm a nice guy. He bought five TI5 tickets, gonna film the burning themselves. Yeah, yeah, okay. You shouldn't have to get tickets, should be commentating it. That would be a fucking dream, unfortunately. I think I'm very far away from that anime. Blinks out this time, Witch Doctor's oh, he immediately cancelled. There's the figure. This lion's like, no, fuck you, my friend. Taken off the map now, Marana. And Tinker will die. Radiant get something in this exchange finally. But that's only because Witch Doctor is uh actually in trouble this time. Trient. Again, he is he's playing the long con. As I said, he's like the tax collector. He gets gold all over the map. He doesn't care. He's just put as many trees up as he can. And this is how you should play tree at this stage. Because the Radiant team are doing absolutely nothing. Let's just have a look how much they can see. Radiant. That's another kill onto Lion. That is a visage with the extra speed. This time the Shadow Grave used perfectly. And he brings the birds back. Going to be fired up against the Dragonite. Dragonite in a very slow kill attempt. They will be getting... Sorry, Lion is... 
fucking keen for this. He wants to get in for a stun. He's like, come on, visage warning sub. I'm here for it. Here's the stun. And he just makes sure that is cheeky play. That bird could have been sent out against the lion, but he doesn't use it. Obviously, you panic quite a bit. Overgrowth catches onto Dragonite. Unfortunately, doesn't catch onto Lion. If Lion died as well, then that would have been absolutely hilarious. Uh, no second Overgrowth. And Downbot will see the Animage being able to get extra, well, extra, extra trouble from just getting caught by uh, Trient. Right, sorry, what was I saying? So, yeah, Sight, look at the Dire. Look at how much the Dire... That's just the Dire Sight. If you were just watching, you would think that's just everyone's Sight. Dire can see everything apart from inside their base. And Shea will probably fix that. Trees creeping in the woods. Top tower is under attack. It's too much for your internet connection. What's too much for your internet connection? Zap. The quality of the stream is awful as it is. <laughs> is there any way to reduce the quality of the stream for you? I'm afraid because um, I record locally. Obviously, I have gone down to 720p. Normally, I would like to at least uh, stream at like 1080p, 60fps. Um, but I'm afraid... Lion just time. gets a kill up there top, because why not? Tinker shows his face and Lion's just like, I'm going to blow it off. Um, yeah, I'm afraid, I don't have quality sense because I'm not partnered on Twitch. Again, a huge apologies. I realise a lot of people can't watch my stream because they can't, uh, bandwidth issues. Um, but I'm afraid, there will be highlights of this game up on YouTube, and I mean, you can guys watch the VODs after. I think you can choose quality sets on VODs, can't you? Oh, maybe not. I don't know, I might have lied. Rana really wants to find Venomancer, but she hasn't got any reveal, and has just gone, uh, Manta into Monkey Bar. Really? It's only 720p as well. It's only 720p um, quality. Yeah, it's sad to see Twitch doesn't do anything to let people enjoy non-partner streams. Well, it's it's limitations. Oh, E-Blade will be used, but that's an E-Blade which... No synergy, but that's a nice arrow this time that uh, Shadow is still on cooldown. Huge arrow there from Marana. Odd to see the Witch Doctor use the Shadow Blade, then use Death Ward. Death Ward is physical, which means that the uh, Shadow Blade, sorry, the E Blade. E Blade in a the target, then go to Death Ward, and immediately you've just given them invulnerability. Maybe he's making more of a challenge for himself. It's like playing with a handicap. Why the hell does it lag for you at 720? I don't know, man. I do not know. E Blade on the Witch Doctor is uh, very odd. But in the mid lane. Boots travel in from this tanker. I want to see some big manta usage. Rockets comes out. Throwing out just the banner rockets. <clears throat> Yasha will be built up next on Dragonite. He's going to be pretty damn fast. Phase. you got Mask of Mars movement speed. He's speedy. That's the term. Arrow connects onto Lion. And Lion's just going to get completely bullied. There's a lot of just things. Overgrowth connects with the Dragonite. Dragonite will be going down as well. What's my insert speed? Oh, no, you're talking about that. Sorry. <laughs> Going for the stats, maybe. Oh, he's dis has he disassembled his go? Hey, there we go. Witch Doctor, he's testing stuff out. He's tested it, realized, no, no, this was a bad idea. He's got rid of it. And he's just like, let's not worry about that. Okay, so Dazzle, now going to be hit by rockets. And, well, able to get the Shadow Grape onto himself. Marana, backing out. Fair amount of damage from Animage. Animage could throw out the Mana Void, but I think he wants to keep it for a uh, better fight. Illusions will be popped, but now they fall onto Tinker. Tinker should get out of way. This is just a big kill. Doesn't do it. There's a difference between holding your cooldowns and just not getting uh, three kills. A tier four is in trouble by these creeps. Anyway, just going to be backing out and seeing if he can catch them here. There's a lot of things. Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, sorry about not being partnered, though. Okay, one second, guys. Let me just check some messages. I know this is a professional cast, isn't it? Mid cast, I'm just anyway, shameless. And this again, Dazzle, that time very quick on the Shadow Grave, wants to make sure he gets out. So, Soul Ascension just thrown around. Rainy have got to do some work to try and hold this, especially against this Witch Doctor. Oh, but he goes in, pops the BKB, he's dropping it. Oh, look at it go! Dragonite and Co. run away. And Venomancer, though, just goes toe to toe with him. And now thinks about backing out. Animage was able to man avoid it because the BKB fell off. Goes to the man avoid now and at least gets the kill. And then blinks away. Did he actually get hit by the Nova? Doesn't even get hit by the Nova. So Venomance is kind of wasted. Uh, well, sorry. Venom Animage blinks away from the Nova. Animage blinks in as the Venomance goes in is what I'm trying to say. Visage runs away. I'm saying all the wrong stuff today. And Visage will then be caught. Yeah. Oh, Animage comes back in. Obviously, this blink. You're only looking at a five-second corner. So even if he blinks in as part of his team goes in, uh, uh, Venomancer could just be like, oh, Animage, I was going in. And then they go back in for a fight. There we go. That's what's what I meant to say. 
Fucking hell. I'm all over the place today. It's my first cast of the day. That's my excuse anyway. All the green stuff on the ground looks like Tiberium. Yeah, Command and Conquest. <laughs> Quite a lot of tree ends, trees you see. Yes, true. You're rolling multi-twitch? Holy shit. Why are you watching four streams? Who are the streams? Who am I sharing your time with? And there's now going to be a tier two getting bullied. Fortification should be pulled down. Let's let the diary actually be able to hold this a little bit. Look at this. Illusion usage. But now there's your counter illusions with the cleave. Marana in troll. Now Tinker's in troll. Moonlight Shadow helps him out. But now he's popped his rockets. Could be a... Oh, we'll get killed with the uh, finger from Lion. And that's a nice quality overgrowth. Uh, was there be two? There is going to be two overgrowths. Doing a fair amount of damage. Unfortunately, that's not enough to stop them. It does slow down their push quite considerably, though. And there's quite a lot of creeps going towards bot. Uh, Trio Protectors last six. That's a 558. And they're looking to take this tier 2. Oh, they could be going for a Rax, you know. No buybacks from any of the die apart from Visage. He's up in 18 seconds. He's not going to be looking at this. They will be at least trying to take one Rax. This could be this could be Radiant's open. Who knows? Yeah, no one knows what the plans are for today. And this is going to be a full Rax taken by the Radiant. Dyer take a fight sloppily, and you're looking at a 20k lead thrown away. Like, you lose these people without buybacks, and it's crazy. They've still got tier 2s on those side, though, so it looks like the next time they win a give fight. Oh, no, Radiant, please don't do the stay too long and get greedy play. Visage is a large portion of the Dyer's uh, damage, so they've got to make sure he stays up. And he is pretty damn hard to take down, but a good quality weave. Even a good... If Visage stands next to Sol and there's a good mana void, it's going to make things awkward. Trient is still here, deep... In enemy lines and anyway just heading to defend top which dr pop speaking be early then throws out the cast because they're gonna be a maledict no just always oh, straight up waste the cooldown maybe if he waited for trent to come in and abyssal him abyssal overgrowth just that sort of lockdown that could have been nice but now anyway just like hey man i know you've used your ulti goes in wants to slap him around maybe a little bit of slap and tickle blinks in there's the man he could now use the uh cast because they know this there's gonna be the cast keeps in place tinkers turn up with the illusions is there gonna be a laser Throw down. I mean, just got to think about blinking away. He's hit by the Maledict as well. Marana will kill Daz at the same time because the Radiant are still here in this base. They want to still be diving. It's like two different games going on. The Dyer are so confident. They're fighting near where a tier 2 used to be. Marana's trying to defend the bloody base, though. And now, again, in mid lane, Trient's just going for it. Has the punches. Could go for the Abyssal onto Venomancer, but Witch Doctor just goes in, gets the Maledict off on Venomancer, but then runs away. And Witch Doctor will just be right on home. Trient will now buy that. There's going to be a, a TP coming out from Witch Doctor. Just boots travel away. Obviously, it's a Venomancer, so you can TP away. Venomancer hasn't got, like, a Yules or anything, so it cannot stop TPs. Yeah, a butterfly onto Venomancer. You should use, it's just for the value flutter. And, I mean, the stats, to be fair, this guy is hitting pretty hard. It's not It's not the worst item in the game. The worst item in the game has probably been the E-Blade Witch Doctor. That wasn't that, wasn't that nice. So, they are trying to just protect themselves, push out as much as possible. And look at that gold change from near enough 25k, well, 23k to 10k gold XP. We're looking at three, like, it's, it's near enough enough to get it. Okay, obviously, you've had some people pretty high up there. Heart being built on tree, and he's now going to get boots of travel. And that will help him deal with his mana issues as well. Another stream I used to frequent started doing this shit. Oh, it's it's every 50 minutes, so you don't have to worry about that. It's not a big deal. Robberies. I can call it whatever. I call it raid in the cookie jar. Sorry, this is my mid-game yawn. This is... It's a relaxing stream, remember? It's a Saturday... It's a nice bit of, It's like a Saturday evening, um... TV, in it. Witch Doctor running away. Lions after him as well. He could go for the Hex or the stun. Throws out the stun, and Witch Doctor will be dying. Cocky. Neither team has gone for Roche. I say about that, but Ron is trying to solo it. Just throw it, going out, throwing out arrows, tanking up a little bit, going out, throwing out arrows. Could use some mana illusions to tank, but it's say hey, at least someone's taking Roshan, taking the initiative. Every ten minutes, yeah, that's a bit spammy, isn't it? Butterfly counter to main dire damage dealer death ward. How long is this game? Uh, not much longer, I don't think. So, oh, Christ, as this happens, I was stre stretching. We see Visage in trouble. If he goes down, he's going to be dead for a while. 95 seconds is birds. Can they finish on Dragonite? He, he can armor toggle his way out of this, but no, he toggles himself to an early grave. Lion stands up there, and there's going to be the heal, which just ensures the get. Piranha's taking this Roshan. 
pretty damn slow. Vizic just brought back. He's dead for a long time. And we see Murano just waiting. Going to be thrown another arrow. And then going for something here. Tinker will be pushing top with his Manta. Is building an AC now. Oh, well, Mjolnir. Mjolnir AC. And again, Murano still fighting Roshan. Up top, Tinker. Caught by Anti Mage. Anti Mage just gets killed. Has an Abyssal. I'm afraid your partial AC won't be enough to keep you. Trier's gonna die. This is the first time he's died in a long time. Doesn't get the overgrowth down. He puts his hands down, but still gets taken down. Your <laughs> crippling gambling addiction is taking you down. Oh man. This is a long Roshan. I mean, we talk about some of the longest Roshans we've seen. This is the longest Roshan. Fuck me, this is a long one. All you need to say is one or two special words. Oh, no, we don't talk about those words, though. And 1,000 HP. Mirana pops the mana, but does he use his attack? And hey, Roshan goes down. What has he got to drop? One would assume the Aquila. Drops the Aquila, picks up the Aegis. Lovely, lovely stuff. So Roshan will be going the Dyer's way. There is That's going to be just a temporary ward as the mana illusion's up there. Because why the fuck not? Next level, Roshan, yes. Wait, what do you mean you can't listen to him cast then? Is that a flame at me? Are you like saying I'm the backup plan? But welcome, Clem. Welcome. Or Caleb. Mrana, I was going to say, it's been making plays this whole game. So, let's see what's going down. Up top, which not just walking out, does have Death Ward available. Could be going to throw a cast out to this fellow at any point, but we'll just be backing out, running away. We'll see what they can do. A little bit of cheeky peeky. There's the cask thrown out onto Venomanta with the. Uh, well, there's the Death Ward, and I think, again, he's wasted maybe a cooldown here. There's now going to be Bootstrap Lane from Tinker and Anime just here with his Abyssal. There's your poison ever catch on to him with the finger coming to the back from the Witch Lord. The Witch Lord has already popped his Oli, so he's not even that important to take down, but Visage is. If he goes down. This is a dieback. He's dead for 160 seconds. Animation may be stunned by the arrow. There's going to be a Maledict onto him, but there's not that much damage from Rado. Okay, Rado does have a Monking Bar, but the Maledict is doing a fair amount of work as well. So the Radiant are all still standing, but the Dyer have lost two. And these are two important people. They can't afford to do this. For TI6, thank you very much, man. You're too kind. Overgrave connects onto the Venomancer, taking the damage. There's an arrow flying through, and this will not connect. It will fade in time. That looks like it's going to be pretty on point. There's your refresher. Could go for an abyssal, but does it just punches him? The tree takes down the dragon. How even mighty oaks can fall. Now, Marana will try and stand a ground. Well, the Overgrave helps out. Venomancer goes down. Marana gets another kill. Is on 20 HP. Unfortunately, the girl's still on there. And now, Animage comes back in with 30 on HP. And he's just like, I will fell this tree. And gets it kill. Good stuff. We'll be running away and the arrow won't hit him this time. Grabs a DD on his way out. Alright, I'm going to be going uh, blowing my nose quickly. Yeah, well, obviously some people... I feel sorry for him though because he puts a lot of work in. <clears throat> he puts a lot of work in and you can see he's very genuine and he's passionate about it. But some people just don't like his accent and there's nothing you can do about that. I, how, like, the arrow thrown out doesn't connect onto him though. <laughs> Too intense. You're talking about mine. Oh, oh Cyclops is now. Right. <clears throat> yeah. He's very... Oh, run bitch thrown out from Witch Lord. The Witch Lord has got what we call fighting words. I don't know how to quote. Who am I quoting? Right, I'm going to pour myself a glass of water. See you later, Boots. Enjoy the rugby. My mind is mush. I've got like a constant headache going on as well at the moment, so it's a bit annoying. Tinker just wants to do a little bit of backdoor. Just woo, let's go. Uh, Honey Mage blinks it and immediately gets the bash off. That was even the Abyssal. There's going to be the Shadow Amulet usage from Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor with the plays. Again, it wasn't necessary, but fuck it. I thought that was pretty cool. I think you don't see Shadow Amulet utilized enough, especially just helping out your buddies. That was quite cool. I like that. It wasn't a big play. It wasn't a big play at all, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. Wait, who's playing? Um, ATF. I don't think he's here. I feel quite bad. I'm casting his game, and I don't think he's here. But this is definitely... This is going to be a Tales from the Trench episode. <clears throat> it would be episode... Uh, what number would it... Could someone tell me what number it would be? Uh, yeah. Game from plan for the rating. Get a gem. I think if they were going to buy a gem, they would have bought it at some point. 
anywhere they are on the map, Overgrove comes out, they're getting caught. They must be getting pretty pissed off by now, because they must realise they're being seen. Which Todd could just go for the line, he's like, ping, 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 ping. Guys, I've found the enemy, let's go. It's this, is this trenchy, dude? Yes, this is going to be it. It's not 59. 69. God damn it. Tinker. Because there's the cast wish with the arm onto Lion and the Dazzle. They can't get the grave off. There's going to be the burst to drop it down. It's a double. It's a double disaster. Witch Doctor has been making play on play. Big Brother is in the building. Episode 27. Thank you, Trainers. Cheeky bastards. Oh, God. And they're now going to be pushing in. Cast his friend out again. And there's now Mana Illusions coming out with the birds to try and force out this tower. Animage could go in, but you'd be going in alone against the world. Okay, he's got... Oh, actually, the Poison Nova and Animage could clear this team, but it's whether they go in together. And if they fuck up, this could be a disaster. Animage blinks in, pops his mana, focuses up the creeps. There's now an arrow which connects onto the real Animage. No, that's a cast got him. Oh, wow, this Animage has really uh, cocked it there. And now Visage getting focused by the Venom and the Dragonite. That's going to be enough to at least get a kill. And now focusing the Witch Daughter. Witch Daughter remembers to go. It's only on corner for 25 seconds. Goes to use the Shadow Amulet. And it will stealth him. Unfortunately, he's got Poison Sting as well as Poison Sting. He has got uh, Poison Sting as well as the uh, Nova, which results in him dying Mirana. Tries to back out. There's a little bit of evasion there. The arrow will hit. There's there a leap. There's no leap for six seconds. But overgrowth will help him out. Tree in his time of needs. Nature will go to him. It's the last march of the Ents. And now they're going to be... Let him run a go. But Trien, he will not let this go. Abyssal's up Dragonite and just fucking suplexes him. Trien Protector, the game winner, man. This guy, huge. And now this melee racks will be going down. So this is going to be the second racks of the game, which will equalize the mid lane as well. So now one rack stands between the uh, Radiant and Megas. And this tree has ascended beyond map presence to Thumper Man. Although saying that, Venomancer ain't nothing to fight with as well. Trien, you can't take this fight. He has misjudged the situation and will die for it. I like that little wave he does as he dies. That's nice. So, let's quickly check gold. Woo! So the die are kind of still in it, but it did go to zero from 25k. Well, near enough. And now it's sitting at about 9,000... Uh, 9,000 gold XP. Not much in it. So, these fights could go... The game could go either way. Still go either way. Radiance top tower is under attack. Why don't people play carry tree and... Um, a variety of reasons. Lacks farming abilities until he gets an agony himself. But when he, oh, Lion has disconnected from the game. Remember, this is low priority. So, he might come back. He might return. Rest in peace, called out. But, um... He surely won't be abandoned. Would you abandon a low priority game 65 minutes in? Don't you get... Yeah, might as well finish it. I, I agree with you, big brother. Um, Yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah. He's got a farming tool with the agonims. And obviously, people go, he's able to farm the whole map. However, it's, it's defeated by a quelling blade and a gem. One man with a quelling blade can just fell the forest. Visage pops Shiva's. And he's just like, wait until I could see you, then I'm going to knock your fucking lights out. Wants to kill the birds, unfortunately they are stomped down, Visage, you're not controlling yourself. And he made blinks, so he's like, oh, I see you, mate. There's the Abyssal, Visage is taking the damage, and unfortunately you will just be dying. This is him dead for 99 seconds. So. Oh god, don't time out the chat. <clears throat> Hooded Defiance, Dazzle's going to be building into a pipe. Witch Doctor shows his face. Could go for a play onto a Dazzle. Dazzle is just here, has got a yours. The arrow will be a mess. He can just use himself. Actually goes to the shadow, a very early Shadow Grave again. Marana's just focusing him down. So, Witch Doctor's all has been wasted, but Dazzle will die. Marana gets killed now, and now Witch Doctor can Shadow Braid away, will be running. The Radiance Ancient is exposed. There's the Shadow Grave, and he's able to just run on home. Trient. This is the, like, if, for example, if this tree's still standing, this is always going to be hit with uh, Trien Toy. And Trien catches the Dragonite, gets the kill from the Overgrove. Tinker was fighting him as well, so they're just able to catch. Like, Trien is, let's just take a look at the squad. Let, have a look at that. Witch Doctor has done a lot. I think you got to say that much. Venom's Gale, thrown out. Venom's trying to keep these creeps at bay. Did go for a heart. I don't know if I mentioned that. <clears throat> Tinker did finish his assault cure ass, so that is something at least. This circlet, this is new, isn't it? He didn't buy the circlet earlier. 
Now, if I was a bet, like, I, I don't know, this Tinker is thinking outside the box. He is not within the realms of box-based logic. And he may just going to be hit with the Ogre. If there is an Abyssal, he's going to be hit with the Abyssal. There is a Maledict as well. Unfortunately, the Maledict comes out too late. That guy was stunned for a long time. Flutter being utilized by Animage, he's able to run on home. Flutter home, little B. Little B? That's weird. Wish there was a quality option. Yeah, uh, sorry guys. Really sorry about not having quality options. I, I have really tried to get it partnered. But um, by being here, I know obviously you guys are going to say, well, why the fuck should I be here if I can't watch the stream? But by being here, you do help me to eventually get quality options. The Visage is eager to end this game. Anime is like, no, 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 stop. The fun will end. Let's just quickly get this kills out. Gale thrown as well. Visage in trouble. There's going to be the finger and Visage will die. His team doesn't really back him up. Maybe if his team went in, they could have just finished the game together. Well, I think they could have easily done that. And the creeps are still on it with one or two birds. Maybe just send the birds. They've got like mantas. They've got birds. They've got tree punching like he's going out of business. He's like he's Tyson. They could get them. They could get the game in the bag with this. Where is the hood at? How many? Oh, yeah. He has two, one too many ring of, ring of, ring of regions. Is that what you mean? Just stop defending. Just let us win. Just let us win is what he's saying. Why on the earth are they not pushing top in? Yeah. How is this game still going? It feels like Dyer should have won by now. As in, they should have walked in, ended this game. Oh shit, what am I doing? Uh, yeah, the gold's still fairly evil. There's your overgrowth again. Capturing absolutely everyone apart from Anime Mage. Anime Mage is just laughing at everyone who's standing still. No overgrowth there. It's going to be bonus Satanic as his next item. Trien is now on the stage where you like. Which uh, I like to be called in the balling out tier of money, where you just start buying random things. You just you open up the shop, you just go down. You're like, what do I like the look of? Let's just look at all the priciest, priciest stuff. See what we can get in, and then just mix and match. You know, it's the pick and mix of items. Yeah, I need about 400, 500. I got told I need about 500 concurrent to want to get part of Witch Doctor throws out the armor and now Dazzle's going to be taking a lot of damage. He has got a Yules as well as the Shadow Grave. Pops Shadow Grave straight away. The cast comes out when it bounces back towards them. But then Lion gets the Hex off onto Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor is stealthed, but they have no reveal. That has been the catchphrase this game. Oh, fucking game. Trian waiting on the sidelines under the boardwalk. What if we spam Twitch with requests? I don't think it works like that, guys. Yeah, uh, well, I, well, they may have them at the moment, but at one point in time, they would probably something near that. Either that, or they're partnered with channels. I'm not part. I'm an I'm an individual, so don't have that. Take a pops. Oh, look at how many fucking tinkers there are! Look at all these order ducks, dragon eye. Intro will go down, and our anime is just gonna kill the tinker. Okay, he he sees through that clever guys. Mirana finishes off line, but will die in the exchange as well. So two for two. Uh, Radiant coming out there because obviously they throw away a line and a Dragonite. Dragonite isn't that important, I would say, at this stage in the game. Sorry, Dragonite, if you're watching this. I doubt he's watching it. No, it's my bad. Russ would also need a reference from another part of the streamer. Uh, Vlad's now up onto Animage. Yeah, if you... If, um, you've got a certain amount of viewers and, uh, there's not that many super popular people online or whatever you just get quality options like turned on for that so if we had enough viewers the quality options would just turn on unfortunately it hasn't really happened like that and they are now going to be pushing pipe now up on dazzle it's a 71 minute pipe I feel like it's a little bit late checking buybacks we can see that Visage can't buy back, Lion can, well, I cannot either. Only people who can buy back, it's the easiest way of saying it, is Witch Doctor and Trian. But it's only gold, no cooldowns, so they can get some gold in these fights and then be able to buy back into them. Trian is getting away with just murder. Keeps throwing out these overgrowths, keeping it pushed in, catching the enemies. And it's just, like, look where he's standing. That's part of their base. Dragonite's never relevant, I don't, I don't know about that. And now this is the troll. Witch Doctor throws out the other one to Animage. Animage can think about running away. He's even not in troll. He gets the kill. And Witch Doctor, he's kind of lost his moment now. Animage able to fight against Trian. Trian will go down so quickly, even though he's so hench. And now Witch Doctor tries to shadow right away. Sneaky, sneaky. Will try to escape. Visage hit by another stun. And the Gale's onto him. Will throw out a nice little soul assumption. But Witch Doctor is now still standing a little bit of push onto the tier 3 but really nothing to write home about and they should just go tier 4s radiant should just try and force buybacks go for the game win and tinker went for the 72 minute maelstrom 
Mjolnir like, shield, maybe? Like, you put Mjolnir shield on the creeps. Actually, no, this is why he's just going in to try and finish the game. He goes in, pops his man, and he's just going to try and all attack down the Ancient. But unfortunately, the enemy team has just said, no, Tinker. No. Shut down. This guy has Iron Brew. Oh, no. I'm not a fan of Iron Brew. It's all right, I guess. And Marana again will be selling Roshan. This time with a DD, it's a lot easier for her to do so. Has got a Daedalus Monkey Bar Butterfly as well as a Manta. Has uh, ascended quite a lot. And Sentry Wards are being bought by the Radiant now. Good stuff. So they're going to get some Sentries out. And Smokes by the Bucket Load as well. So they have... They, it, they finally cracked. They finally cracked. Tinker forgot what a Tinker is. He's just trying to be beyond the Tinker. Sand Erpy, you are incredibly cheeky disrespecting my food. And there will now be more Marauded Leaps away, and we'll just be trying to play it safe. Now, Dragonite. Fight up against these Marauder Illusions. Yeah, I mean, he's popping his mask around, so you don't really care about down ball. We see Witch Dot again die. Died for 122 seconds. Surely this is going to be the game. Animage will be going for a Tom Max. I was saying about just go for the Ancient, go for the Tier 4s, and end the game. Trien is standing there. One big meaty man being a flesh wall. Throws out the Overgrowth, which obviously that one isn't with damage because there's no trees. But he just leech seeds, pushes it into the limit. Marauder needs to focus down the Animage. Goes to the Dragonite. They are splitting the focus, and Marauder's now going to die to the crossfire from just Venomancer. Venomancer, Dragonite, and Animage will do a full amount of damage. Trien's dead as well. Can buy back 95 seconds. Remember, Marana had the Aegis. Dragonite will die. Visage still standing. Gonna be going low, but they've changed targets on to off him, and he manages to die still because Venomata is really fucking strong. Now, Venomata will be running off. Is this gonna be another ping pong fight where they've kind of thrown a chance to end the game? We'll soon see. Carry up flying back here, but there's a couple of creeps on the ancient. Venomata is there. Let's just check the health of it, actually. Yeah, it's getting hit by a cow and stuff, but it's a very slow, low impact fight. Venomata did die a boy back, but so did Dragonite. So they are playing safe. That means buybacks were forced, though, so that works out pretty well for them. Did you call me a pleb? Jesus Christ. Da, 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 da. Chicken, chicken's lovely. Venomancer is the unsung hero of this game. Actually, I think I've sung his praises quite a bit. He's done so much damage this game. Like, Poison Nova does a lot. You get Agonims. You, yeah. He's, he's been, he's also been incredibly cheeky with just his Shadow Blade. Animage is dead for 97 seconds. Animage, why did you go in? Maybe eager to finish another Rats, but you've got people with an Abyssal. You've got... Oh, Addy Mage, man. What were you thinking? There's now going to be TPs into the creep wave. Venomance is here. Ven oh, finger comes up from Murata. Murata's now solo. There's going to be the poison dungeon which gets a kill. Never mind. Lions will attack. Finish it. Murata's death for 98 seconds. Does have a buyback. Trian's still up. Addy Mage buyback. It is time to end this game. I have finished farming. Hasn't got boots, but fuck it. Let's go. Tier 4s are falling, and the Trian will be weeping. Refresher comes out. He's got the overgrowth available. He needs to throw it out, but unfortunately he's hexed up. They're trying to bring him down, and now Mirana falls. Dead for 122 seconds. This is going to be the big play. Overgrowth with the Death Ward. It's not doing that much damage because of how late in the game it is, but it's still a lot, and they go go down. There was a lot of uh, plus armor as well there, so Dazzle and Co. still stand on the ground with their weave. Unfortunately, Cask and Co. Visage tries to hold it. It looks like Dyer will be dying. They tried so hard there, but wait, what's this? Their Ancient is under attack as well. Will the Radiant forget that they need to end the game? No, they go to focus it down. Now, Radiant Ancient, there's no split push available. It goes pretty low, though. 1,000 on HP. What is the Dyer's Ancient on? 800 on HP. There is no fortification left available. And obviously, they've gone back to defend. So, the Dyer's Ancient will be going down here. A little bit of a chunky fight. No, Dazzle's going to be scared off. Dazzle, trying to man fight the game. It's regenerating too much. I can't even do it, Captain. Dazzle now just runs away with a shallow grave. And it looks like the game won't be ending here. I called it wrong. I called it wrong. Jesus Christ. It was a nice Thank you very much for the follow, Charlie. So, 77 minutes in the game. Let's keep it going. The fun train never stops here. And, yeah. What a fight. So, a lot of stuff was used. Obviously, you got the refresher constantly coming out from the overgrowth trying to keep... Actually, he only used one. So, although he used the refresher, I guess he was hexed and kind of focused down. So, the game didn't end, guys. The game didn't end. Yeah, people are like, GG. The game didn't end. There's no GG yet, guys. You're calling it too early. 
1,300 health, 1,500 health. They could just try and sleep, sleep past each other, sneak past each other. I don't know why I'm saying sleep. Venomouts are going to be able to easily kill Tinker. Tinker, you cannot go toe to toe with a Veno. Are you insane? Venomouts are walking him down. 720 damage on crits. He's trying to run away. This is a guy with an assault QS as well, may I remind you. And he gets taken down by Veno. But, Witch Doctor with the Shadow Blade. Are we going to look at it go? He's trying to finish the game. Lion blinks in. There's your BKB with the birds. 1,100 HP. BKB. Duration. He needs to get more value war attacks off. He's got nothing really to do this. The birds have all been stopped down. And now Trian comes in. This is moment. He's going to get missiles. 700 health on the Ancient. The birds. 460 health. Will they finish it? Focus the Ancient. 120 damage. The Dire. Finish the fucking game. Do you believe it? GG. What? What even is real life? Oh my god, Trien. You are the golden god, my friend. I thought he was gonna throw it. I thought the game was gone. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Whew. Wow. Um... GG, that was quite a finish. 1,051 last hits. A top heavy distribution on farm on the Dire team. However, it works out quite well. Oh, God, guys. Yeah. If I become the cast...